Welcome in everyone to your knee strengthening exercise. This is gonna be a great one that's only going to take five minutes or less that if you're consistent, you'll be able to look back and be so grateful that you spent this time for yourself working from the inside out on your knees to help strengthen them and give you the confidence that when you are doing your workouts, you know that you're in the proper form and you don't feel that vulnerability of unstable knees. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm really excited to dive into today's little five minute workout. What you're gonna need for today is a booty band. I'm just using level one. You could use any level that you prefer and you can also, as you're doing this consistently, work your way up the booty band so you can go up to the other different levels. And then the other one is a ball. Now you can see this is just roughly the size of my hand. Uh, if you do not have a ball that size, you can easily just use a pillow. You can just kind of bend it in half like this and it has the same effect, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and go into it. Let's first start with the booty band. So the booty band, you're gonna just slide it into those legs, slip it on up to those thighs and uh, it sits nice and comfortable. It can just be right in the middle between your knees and your hips. You can do this exercise while you're working, reading a book to your children, talking on the phone, whatever works for you, but just try to stay consistent. It is going to give you the best results. So here's what we're gonna do first is you're gonna work from the booty all the way down to the side of the legs into the side of the knees and wrapping it around. And that's what's going to give you that nice, good, secure foundation on the outside. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and open your legs and give that nice, good stretch. If you wanna make it a little harder, you can bring the band up a little closer to the knee. Then after that, you're gonna bring it back in. Then we're gonna pulse for two and then bring it back in. Engaging that core, keeping it nice and tight, you will get an ab exercise at the same time. You're welcome. Pulsing for three and then back in. You should probably start feeling it now. Four pulses here, kind of just um, bringing your feet. You're going onto the outer edge of your feet is what it looks like here for me. And then bring it in. You keep this very slow and controlled. Remember, this is a strengthening exercise for those knees. So it's really important to keep it nice and slow and you're feeling all of the muscles engaging and strengthening. Good, we're at six. Good, and then here we go for seven. Pulsing it out, pushing against that band and trying to open that band as wide as you possibly can so you can really feel the great benefit of this. Now, if we were stronger and as we are staying consistent, we don't have to stop at seven, we can make our way up to 10. Um, but what we wanna do is we're doing a pyramid, so now we're gonna go down the pyramid, starting at seven, go back to one, okay? So here we go, seven pulses, tightening that core, engaging everything. Ooh, I already feel the knee strengthening right now. I love it. All right, so I just wanna give a backstory. So the reason how I found this uh, particular workout was I was a high impact Zumba instructor once upon a time and I was teaching it for several years and what ended up happening is my knees started to really become weak as I was doing a lot of high impact and bouncing around and twisting and all sorts of stuff and what it did that my weak knees started really affecting my dancing and it just made it so I didn't really feel confident in doing all of them. And so what I started doing is putting like wraps and knee braces but that was just working from the problem on the outside in and it wasn't until I started really working from the inside out of by really getting into the muscles to strengthen those knees, that's when everything changed. And now it's been seven years and I haven't had knee problems ever since. And uh, so I'm excited to bring this to you. So now that we've done the pyramid with the band, good work, go ahead and split that off. You can either repeat that three times and then go into the ball or you can alternate, whatever your choice is. So now from the ball, same thing, I'm just gonna twist so you can see me here. So the ball, what we're gonna do is do the reverse. So now we're working the inner thighs. You are gonna be working into that pelvic floor, so that pooch area, and you're gonna be working all the way into those inside of the knee. So you're gonna squeeze once and hold, let go, and now we're gonna squeeze for two. Your goal is to try to really engage your core and at the same time, really focusing on squeezing, trying to pop that ball so you can just feel the muscles working the best. All right, it's a short, but yet, extremely efficient and effective. Good, and just keep working your way up those set, the reps. Killing it. Good, I'm on my last one here for seven. Again, squeeze, it's not a race. You go at your own pace. Again, you can do this at your job. 
wherever you're at, but just try to put it on your calendar because if you're consistent, that is truly when you're gonna get the best results. And that's when you can look back and say, whew, I feel some strong knees coming on. Good, all right, now that we made it to seven, we go from seven down to one, you ready? Here we go, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now your choice if you want to um, lift up your heels, it really is your personal preference, it's all about what you feel. So I feel it better when I lift my heels, I can kind of feel that engaging a little bit more. Your choice, you can even lean back and engage that core at the same time. That's something I like to do to kind of feel my abs working at the same time. You're, you make it your own, girl. You do you, boo. You do you. Whew. I'm burning. I don't know about you. Okay, here we go for five. Good. We're almost done. Stay strong. Again, I promise, stay consistent with this. If you can do this every day, mark it on your calendar and you're gonna have all the confidence in the world to really feel like you can do the lunges or squats, deadlifts, whatever it is that you're trying to do in your fitness that can help you with those stronger knees. So hopefully this video helped. If you like these videos, there are only 15 minute videos that we do every single day that are involving getting that hourglass back. So in the Booty Bands and Barbells app, we have certified personal trainers that have over 10 years of experience that are teaching you how to build the hypertrophy in the glutes at the same time circuit training on your upper body. So it's really sculpting and toning your body and all doing it for only 15 minutes a day all from home. So if you like these videos, make sure to go download the Booty Bands and Barbells app. That is where it's at. It is an amazing app. I'm excited to see you in there. We also have what's called a weekly routine that we give you. So as soon as you go in there, you know exactly what body part we're focusing on that day. So lots of love, you guys. Have an amazing rest of your day. This was Danita at bootybands.com.